What is up everyone welcome back to another tutorial What I have for you guys today is another Roblox scripting tutorial and this time I'm back with another main menu series This time it's going to be a little bit different though I have a lot more of a different style menu and more to feature with it What I'm featuring with you on this menu is a class selection and sort of a spawning system in a way uh, Let's go ahead and take a look now as we click play It really is a spawn system you spawn at a certain point a b or c so here is basically what it is there's buttons at the bottom here information class selection which it won't it won't allow, um, come up with the continue button until you select one so let's select one gives you the tool continue and now we spawn or we select a point spawn so let's go ahead and spawn at point c there as you can see spawns this point c and there's our whatever whatever this is i don't even know galaxy gun <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do this today. Let's get right into it. So, uh, first and foremost, make sure to drop a like. I'm just going to say that now because, you know, I don't even know why. Why not? Anyways, let's get right into what we need to start doing. So, we're going to start off with a screen GUI. Main. We're going to call this main, okay, just for now. And let me go ahead and throw that one in the complicated search. Okay. Now, inside of main, we're going to add a, a frame. We're gonna make a different style one than we did just a second ago. So we're gonna make it like a lot more skinny. Here we go, and we will call this do it like that. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Dark blue, blue for size there. Uh, actually, let's give it like a better one. Let's give it like a gold. That's good. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're going to call this background one or background. Yeah, just background one. And that's basically our first ever background. So you can put whatever on this. And I uh, highly recommend that you at least put the game title here. So I'm just going to throw that on real quick. This is sci fi font. And, and we're just going to call this a game, okay? Or. Here, let's come up with a quick name. Um, I don't even know, guys. Let's say you're making a capture the flag game, so let's call it, you know, capture the flag. Something generic. Like that. Oh, cap shoe. You can have that. Uh, let's go ahead and change that back there. Capture the flag. Let's rise it up a little bit. Capture the flag. Here we are. That is our game title, and then yeah, we're gonna go name that title instead of text label. And we're also gonna have like a little like I don't even know what to call it, but you know, made by blah blah, something along the lines of that. So made by. In this case, we're gonna do this owl. It works. And we're gonna give it a little text size down there. Twenty maybe. It right under that um and you know you can put whatever here so all that desk description uh you can really put whatever you can put the description of it wherever you like so let's put the description down here um it's just blue versus red capture flag I don't even know. That's a, that's a pretty generic description. Uh, in this case, we're gonna leave that out. But yeah, you can do whatever. This is the title page. It really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Now, also in background one. Now we're gonna get into our like actual. Before we get into any actual like continue or previous buttons, back buttons. Um, we're gonna make one local script here. So just in inside the screen UI. Okay, so inside this local script, we're going to basically do what we did for the first ever main tutorial series, which is a camera. I always like to include a camera. Um, so we're going to call this, you know, whatever. We'll call this, I, we'll call this local because we're going to need a local tab. So local camera equals game dot workspace dot current camera. 
and then also the player local player equals game dot players dot local player yeah, and now we're gonna get to the camera so we can call this main script along the lines of that um Pete wait um, until pretty sure it was player it's been a while since I scripted or did a scripting tutorial so I have to get used to it now take everything I script all right camera dot for a type equals scriptable and then cam and before we get into that part we're gonna go back into the game real quick and we're just gonna go grab a camera so in this case we're gonna just gonna insert a part okay and we're gonna put the transparency to one and can collide off and we're gonna call this camera uh we're gonna call it cam in all caps just like that and here what else do we need? oh yeah we need to go to the surface and find the front surface and this yellow square you're seeing this is what the camera will be facing so in this case we're just going to do like a i don't even know we're just going to do a pretty simple camera but we're just going to have it facing over the base plate something like that and that's pretty much it let's get back into our scripting so now we're going to do camera dot keyframe equals game dot workspace dot cam dot c frame that's access to the camera c frame so that we can uh, actually enable it so let's do script dot parent dot enable new then script dot parent dot background one dot visible equals approach dot visible visible equals true there we go and that's basically all we need to do let's go and take a look at that uh, we're gonna disable main real quick and just click play to test as you can see there the camera is working and this is visible there and that's what we want now we're just gonna enable that back where it was alright now that our first local script is basically done right we're gonna go and take a look at the buttons so <clears throat> the buttons are pretty simple so we're going to start off with one text, not a text box, text button inside the background one frame. So, and we're going to call this, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to like put it right in the center. Uh, we're going to give it a nice cool looking design. Where's the design thing? Always forget. Let's call this text button uh, continue. Uh, custom, there it is. We're just going to set it to like a Rollbox round, something like that, something cool like that. Give it a force stands light text scaled, and we're gonna call this continue. Looking like that, right? And then give it a white font, a white text color, whatever you call it, and that's pretty. It looks pretty good. And we're just gonna put this like I don't even know, like right there. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I kind of like right there. That looks good. Okay, so inside this continue button, we're going to go ahead and insert a local script. We're going to get into this one second, but before we do that, let's make another background. So we're just going to duplicate the current one we have. We're going to call it background 2. And instead of description and title, make sure you uh, hide background 1 because we're pretty much done with that. Uh, instead of a description and title, this is going to be like your information tab, okay? So we're going to title it information. Like that, and then this is this is basically a tab where you can add whatever you want. So it's going to be like, you know, uh, capture, capture the flag, uh, uh, red versus blue, team deathmatch, have fun. I don't even know. Keep it simple. Doesn't really need to be that complicated in the description tab. There you go. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah, okay, and then so we're gonna have a continue button, but we're also gonna have a previous button. Okay. So we're just gonna title that previous. This is background two, by the way, background two. Okay. 
and we're also gonna name that previous there. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much what you need to do. Now we're gonna go back into background one, back into continue, and the local script inside of continue. Let's get right into the button scripting, which is really simple. So we're gonna do script uh, parent dot mouse button one click connect uh, function in parentheses and then so we're gonna access background two which is when you click continue background two will come up and then background one will disappear. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do uh scripts dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false. So we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot background two dot visible equals zero. That's essentially what needs to happen. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that does. Uh, let's hide background two. Uh, let's see if it works. Play. It brings us to the main screen. Click continue. Damn, it brings us to background two. And this is not scripted yet, but it will be. Okay, so now then, let's get into the other components. This is the previous, and then the next one. Okay. Let's go ahead and open background two back up. And sorry if I hit my mic there. Uh, so we're gonna open continue, and this this time we're gonna do script. This is continue inside of background two continue button, right? So script dot mouse button one click connect. Oh, script dot parent. <laughs> Function like that, and then. Inside this one, we're just gonna we'll get into that in a minute. Just leave it like that. Um, now we're we're gonna insert a local script into the previous button under background two, and we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function end with parentheses. And inside this one, since we're going backwards. We're gonna need to do the exact opposite of what we just did a minute ago. So we're gonna like do script dot parent <coughs> script dot parent um uh dot visible equals false. Okay, and then or no, we need two parents, so we're gonna script dot parent dot parent dot visible. So that's accessing our background two and turning it um invisible. Once again, then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot background one dot visible equals true and that's accessing our background one again so let's go and take a look at this and uh, make sure to hide background two again play and brings us to our main screen continue continue we haven't scripted that yet and then we click previous takes us back to the main page it's really smooth you guys can see there all right so now we're going to get to our background two continue button and let's go ahead and open that here so uh, before we get into that, we need to add another background. We're going to call this one background three, and make sure that is visible as well. So this will be called background three, and this is going to need to be a little bit different. So we're just going to delete both of those titles out of there, and then we're basically going to hide it once again. So now we're going to go back to background two, continue button, local script. And we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false. Scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot background three dot visible equals true. That's very simple stuff. We'll get into more so somewhat advanced scripts when we get into the class selection and the spawn point selection, whatever you want to call it. Continue. Previous, continue, continue. Works pretty nice. Um, and in background three, let's go ahead and just delete both those scripts and continue and previous and background three. So we just leave it blank like that. And yeah, that's pretty much our main part of this tutorial series so far. I will see you guys in part two where we get into the class selection and all that good stuff. It's going to be a good series. Make sure to stick with me, drop a like, subscribe. My name. I will see you all later. Peace.